Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be playing with the new Smashbox drawn in and decked out set. This set comes with two eyeshadow palettes and one highlighting palette. Unfortunately though for me, when they arrived in the mail, each one was just a little bit damaged. So when I show them to you guys, I am not going to hold them over all the way because then all of the shadow and the highlight is just going to get everywhere. So the packaging though on these little guys are just so so cute when you go back and forth they like show the different images and movement I think that's so super cute so okay the first palette right here is the highlighting palette and as you can see this one right here is the one that's damaged I'm gonna to have to try that peroxide trick and see if it really works so anyway the highlight on these three highlighters are actually really really pretty they have a really beautiful glow to them the next palette right here is darker shades for like a more of a smoky eyed look. This right here is the palette that I actually use today on my eyes. And then the last palette, as you can see this is the one that got really damaged right here. But these colors are actually really pretty for fall. A lot, a lot of fall colors, gold, burgundies, coppers. This is such a gorgeous palette. So before we get into the makeup portion of this video, I just want to let you guys know that next week I will be hosting or holding, whatever you want to call it, my first giveaway here on my channel. It's going to be a holiday giveaway. And as of right now, I am undecided if I want to have one winner or two winners. So yes, I have to make that decision quick. But yes, I just wanted you to know so you can stay tuned so that way you can see what goodies I have in store for that winner or two winners and how you can enter it. So yes, now without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look right here, then just keep watching. So I actually didn't realize these palettes each have a name. This one is called Cover Shot. So since I have already done my brows and primer off camera, I am now going to set my eye primer using this light cream color next up is this warm brownish gray color and I'm going to use this as a base for my transition color I will tell you right now I really really stink at trying to describe colors that do not have a name attached to them so just bear with me this color is actually very very light and so to darken up my crease area just a little bit more I am going in with the darkest brown which is kind of almost like a black shade Next up, I am going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Rust, and I'm going to put this on my lid. Don't worry if it gets messy, we are going to clean it all up by using a flat brush. Using small strokes, I am going to buff and blend it out. Next up is this really pretty plum color and I'm going to now pat this all over my lid. This creates a really deep pretty plum tone. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. 
Now using my Morph blending brush, I'm going to pick up some of that plum color and I'm going to bring this through my crease. It will be a little sticky in the beginning because the NYX pencil has a, I guess you can call maybe like a satiny feel, but it will work itself out and it will create a really nice buffed crease. For liner, I am using LA Girl Gel Liner. For my waterline, I am using MAC Coal Liner. Now for some inner eye pop and a bit of pop under my wing, I am using the highlighting palette that came with this set and that is called the Spotlight Palette. And with a damp, very thin, fine brush, I am drawing a nice straight line under my wing and now applying it to the inner corner of my eye. Using both that plum shade and that light brownish gray color, I am going to build up some color under my eye. And now curling my lashes and applying my mascara by Mia Adora. For falsies today, I am using Eyelore Vegas Nay Lashes in the style Fiercely Fabulous. For my face, I am using Laura Mercier and I am going to highlight under my eyes, the middle of my forehead, my jawline, and the bridge of my nose. For some contour, I am going in with Becca Sunlit Bronzer. Whoopsie, yeah, this is the first time I am using it, so the little clear insert fell out. So now I am just applying this to my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my neck. Now I'm just going to take my brush and buff out my nose contour. And now blending everything together. Both of these colors are so, so pretty, but finding the perfect shade to go is always the most difficult for me. Before I apply, I want to highlight my cupid's bow and I am just going to use the same highlighting palette from before. And now using ColourPop Satin Lip in the color Hutch. And last but not least, a bit of glow, once again using that same highlighter as before. So this right here was the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And like always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.